I don't really see myself as having cancer, to be honest. So I don't let that get in my way or stop what I'm doing. We're off to find another bakery and we'll be uh, riding down the tidal river today with a hike out to South Point tomorrow. Um, Anthony Moffat, known as Moffo to everyone, including his much-loved medical team at Melbourne's Alfred Hospital, doesn't look or behave like someone worried how long he has until the tumour in his brain grows back. Um, I don't know, most people would say exercise is good for you, so... Whereas on the other hand, sitting around feeling sorry for yourself would probably be at the other end of being good for you. And that uh, the idea of riding my bicycle up to Cape Tribulation for a fundraiser just seemed like a good way of paying back on something that I like doing anyway, be it riding a bike. Yeah, so that's where to it's raise from. funds. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, good. You made it. Halfway through the two-month trip, Moffo is in Queensland's Harvey Bay. After powering through an average 100 kilometres a day, sometimes much more, including a record day cycling 169 k's. Again, there's not a breath of wind. I can't believe the run of weather I've had since I left home 44 days ago. Yeah, it's been favourable every day. What's the reaction been like? Are the donations flowing in? Well, we're around $24,000 and the target is (gasps) $25,000. So if we were able to exceed that target Mm. as far as possible, that would be lovely. Mm. But at this point, if we could reach the 25, that would be a milestone. And that might be soon after Bundaberg by the sound of things. So what at the, I guess the highlights that you've noticed while you're cycling, and what are the scary moments? Right. Well, the highlights would be the people that you meet. Here he is. And the scary moments would be, like the other night, I was coming into Tinkham Bay, and I could hear this, like a Tasmanian tiger, and I was thinking, what the hell? (laughs) Yeah. I got chased by a dog. (laughs) When I come out of that... um, you know, like dirt section onto the Rainbow Beach Road. I could hear this like, <laughs> I'm thinking, what the hell is that? It's like pitch black, right? I'm thinking, what the hell? So I uh, sped up, going along maybe like 500 metres or more. I go around a bend, the dog's like right there. I'm like, ha! like this, and then luckily it was downhill, so I like, gave it to it. My like, God. Oh. And I kept riding as fast as I could until I got to the caravan park, looking over my shoulder the whole way, thinking that it might still be there, even though I couldn't see it. And in my mind thinking, there's no way in hell this dog can run like that for 15 kilometres, right? (laughs) Which is how far it was from when I heard it to get into the caravan park. Anyway, so uh, that was probably the most terrifying part of the journey so far, thankfully that there's not more. <laughs> yeah. Your support team must have been very concerned when you relayed this to them. I imagine there must be a lot of people supporting you on this. Yeah. So I'm dropping a hint. Who's your support team? Arlene. Arlene. <laughs> Moffo's wife, Arlene, is his one-woman support team, driving their caravan and leapfrogging her husband, taking turns to be in front okay. or behind him to alert other drivers to watch out for cyclists. Not always successfully probably for the last two weeks i've had scabs and so on from when i got hit by a car <gasps> oh and you didn't mention that in the scary bits all right, yeah, right. i think the dog was more scarier than, <laughs> than, than i don't than know being vehicle. hit by a car <laughs> hello <laughs> yeah so um so then obviously i had some you know war injuries that people would be like oh looks like something's happened <laughs> which would trigger conversation. So I'm checking for plasters now, right. band-aids. No, 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 they're pretty much all healed up. Oh, the, the bit goodness. on my knee, the last bit. Oh. Um, the rest was on my face and, yeah, so that's all cleared up since then. 
And how do you manage to keep your strength up? Cycling that amount of time every day, you must burn a lot of calories. Mm. So how do you keep that strength up? Well, I do have a vanilla slice each day, oh. if there is a vanilla slice. A vanilla that's... slice addiction? Ooh. Well, I would say it's an appreciation <laughs> rather than an addiction. <laughs> Because uh, I've got to find a vanilla slice that compares with my mum's vanilla slice. Oh. And there's uh, some distinct categories that need to be fulfilled. <laughs> Have any of them measured up? One, just one. Oh. Where was that? Give them a mention. It was salt ash. It was in salt ash. It was Ax- uh, Saxby's Bakery in salt ash in Port Stephens. Wow. And they cook on site and, and they had a 10 out of 10. Everyone else is nine and a half or less. Ooh. Yeah. Well, the challenge is out there because how many more weeks have you got to go to, to get to Cape Tribulation? I would say there's three mm. more weeks and I wow. should be there. Excellent. Yes. So uh, there's quite a few van- more vanilla slices between <laughs> now and then, I would think. <laughs> um, a last question for you. What about sponsors? Who's helping you along your way? Do you want to give them a plug? Well, G'day Parks uh, generously offered their caravan parks as accommodation along the way. So they're the only sponsor that we have. Right. But a very generous and appreciated sponsorship. Mm. We're staying in one. It must be good. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Well, that's very good. And we can't wait to hear how you go and when you hit that target. So promise that you'll stay in touch and we'll uh, keep people updated with your progress. I will. Thank you for that. Thank you. Muffo is philosophical that a breakthrough treatment probably won't be found in his lifetime, but his dream, and Arlene's, is to raise as much money as possible so that future brain cancer sufferers will get better outcomes. If you'd like to support them with a donation to the Alfred Brain Tumor Bio Data Bank, which is a joint research project with Monash Uni, just follow the prompts on screen or go to fundraising.alfredfoundation.org.au forward slash River to Reef.